And I guess you had uh, one fan attack incident there where you saved Dennis Condry's uh, life, I guess, with a hockey stick. Yeah, Dennis and Phil was in a ring and nobody could get them out. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of hockey sticks over there because they get broke. And I'd grab one up. And I had a lot of fans over there I did hit with hockey sticks. I mean, uh, you know, but they was in the ring and they weren't going to let them out. So I took the hockey stick and started swinging it. and and cleared them away because that thing makes a bad sound you know yeah. you know and he'd get them out enough and they got out of the ring got to the dressing room and uh, they both said phil hickerson and dennis and man you saved our life i don't think it was that big but you know uh the fans are crazy there because we i even actually had some fans attack me there about uh, 10 yes. years ago yes uh, edmonton New oh Brunswick. yeah edmonton yeah they will yeah. Hey, they will attack you now. I mean, yeah. I went to Camelton, uh, took my wife and daughter over there. Uh, I think it's Camelton, an island over there. With, yeah. And the guy jumped up the ringside and he said, I'm going to kill you, Schultz. And I said, well, come on. He started through the ropes. Boom, I nailed him. He went on the floor. I jumped out. It just happened his head hit the post after I kicked him and knocked him out. So they bring the paramedics, they ring the bell, bring the paramedics, and I get out of there and get to the dressing room, get a shower real quick, quick shower. And my wife and daughter was trying to get to the car and they were standing at the back door and the police wouldn't help them out or anything. So I said, hang on just here, just a minute, let me go get my old hockey stick. And I went and got the hockey stick and got them to the car, put them in the car and took off and hit two or three people. Yeah. But they were just ricocheting off, you know, they were, you know. But th that boy was still laying there. The ambulance was taking him off. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> Several of them got carried off in ambulances over there. I guess you didn't have a gun when you wrestled in Canada. No. For the most part. No. No. It would have been important in the U.S., I assume, back in those days to, to carry a weapon with you of some sort. Uh, and, and, you know, used to we carried rifles in our truck in the window. I mean, we just put them in the window. It wasn't all this big problem we had. You know, we used to go out and fight every week. Nobody had a gun. Yeah. Nobody had a knife. I got a problem with you. Hey, we're going to fight Friday night. We're going to do it at Wells Park. Everybody be there. Where to get out? Man, you draw a big crowd and you go out there and fight. And when it's over, hey, we go back to school next week. We're playing ball together. And it's over, you know. And if we want to redo it, then we'll redo it, uh, you know. But it's kind of fun, you know. Yeah. We had something to do, you know.